Hey guys, even here, and since we are 12 days out of Arnold Classic, it's not weeks anymore, it's 12 days. Now I'm gonna do a prediction video, as I have been promising to you for a while now. This Arnold Classic is stacked, lineup is stacked, so many great bodybuilders. And it's not gonna be easy to do a correct, proper prediction, because it could go pretty much any way. Nobody knows how it's going to play out, but I'm gonna try to make as accurate prediction as possible and I'm gonna try to be as brief as possible and not stretch this video too much. I could actually talk for an hour about this topic. So, let's go. Last place, Johnny Jackson. Johnny Jackson retired officially in 2017 after the Mr. Olympia. He retired. He announced retirement. And now he's doing the Arnold Classic. It's really annoying when bodybuilders are announcing their retirement, they get a big fuzz about it, like they get a ceremony at the show when they actually leave the bodybuilding scene and then two or three years later they sort of, I mean, quote-unquote, come back. But it is what it is. Anyways, Johnny Jackson. He's an older guy, he took some time off and he never really had legs, so I don't think in this lineup, this is a really good lineup, I don't think he's gonna do well. And I think Morgan Aist is somebody who is new, who is much bigger, much taller, who has legs, and who is probably more driven, and who is fresh, and who is doing a pro debut at the Arnold Classic Ohio, so even though it's not much expected from him, since this is his pro debut and he doesn't really have the prettiest structure, I still give him 14th place. As far as that 13th spot, we have another old-timer, Victor Martinez, who did very well at the last year's Arnold, but he wasn't really conditioned. If he brings the conditioning this time around, he's gonna do better than this, but based on everything we saw so far, based on his previous performance, I give him 13th place. As far as 12th place, we're gonna have Max Charles. I don't wanna go too deep into this, I think he's the best candidate for 12th place, and I don't think he's going to be able to beat Sergio Oliva, who I give 11th place. Now, Sergio, he made a lot of progress this year, I think this is going to be his best edition ever, but is that the edition going to be good enough to beat Lionel Biaki, for example? I still don't think so. I think Sergio is going to look amazing, but he has a little bit wider waist, and overall his genetics are not that good, and he didn't really train for too long. Now, if he does better than 11th place, it's going to be a surprise for me, but based on his previous performance and based on the fact that Chris Asito sent his photos, his posing photos, to Dave Palombo, and Dave Palombo said that he is conditioned, but he still considers him the second-tier bodybuilder, I don't see him being better than uh, Lionel Biaki, for example. Because Lionel, he has an amazing structure. This guy is a Mr. Olympia potential, but he never comes conditioned. And that's why I give him 10th place. I can't expect him to do much better than that because I don't believe he's going to bring the conditioning. Now, there is another guy who also has an amazing shape, but never really brings the conditioning. But because he's such a monster, a freak, a Kim Williams, I mean... If he brings a little bit better conditioning than he usually does, he's going to be better than 9th place, but I don't really expect that to happen. It seems like he has really thick skin, and that's why I give him 9th place. Last year, at the Mr. Olympia 2019, Patrick Moore lost to him. Patrick was 10th place, and Akim, I believe Akim was 9th. This year, I think Patrick is going to beat him. I think Patrick is coming better, and I don't really think Akim is going to be much better than uh, a year before. I'm expecting to see Akim in his usual shape, and I expect to see Patrick much better, and so I give Patrick 8th place, and not much better than that. I mean, some people have Patrick winning the, the, the entire competition, and that would be amazing, but he is not that big. Some of these guys are going to outmuscle him. It doesn't really matter what kind of proportions he has, or what kind of shape, or symmetry, or conditioning. Uh, still, he doesn't have very good legs, his quads are just very poor, and overall, he doesn't have the mass of some of these guys, for example, Nathan Diasha. Nathan Diasha is a late entry. I don't really expect him to be in great conditioning, we saw some physique updates, he doesn't look exactly shredded, so 7th place for Nathan. But if he does bring conditioning, he can do better than that, although this is a prediction video, I can predict his conditioning, basically, which is probably the most important factor right here, because all these guys have a lot of muscle, great, con great, I mean, great proportions, great shape, everything, the structure, they wouldn't be top bodybuilders if they weren't extremely genetically gifted, it's just who brings the best 
a combination of fullness and conditioning. And I think based on what we saw so far, Nathan is going to be around there uh, at about 7th spot. And I don't think he's going to be better than Steve Kuklo, who was actually in the top 5 at the Mr. Olympia. And that's gotta mean something. He has a lot of drive from that. You know, that, that, that's a big advantage. Being top 5 in the world. But... You never know with Steve. Sometimes he comes in gr in really good condition, like uh, last year's Indy Pro. I think that was probably his best shape ever. At the Mr. Olympia, he was a little bit flat and a little bit watery, you know, something like that, something in between. And I didn't really like his shape. I don't like the definition of his muscle. It's not very deep separation. It doesn't look alive. It looks like dead muscle. But still... I think he's going to be able to beat all these guys because of his mass and because of his conditioning and experience and previous performance, you know, top 5 at the Mr. Olympia, so 6th spot, still 6th spot, not really great for him, I'm sure he's expecting Matt better than that, but who do I give 5th spot? I give it to Josh Nartovitz actually, why? Because at the last year's Arnold Classic and Arnold Classic Australia also, Josh was insanely big. He was right there as far as the mass with Big Grammy, basically. I'm not sure about his weight, but he was huge. And uh, he had a lot of health problems. He was having uh, severe headaches on a daily basis. I mean, he still has them, as he says, but he had a surgery. I'm sure he feels much better now. And uh, considering that, I can expect him to come in much better shape. So if he brings the conditioning with all that insane mass, I can say... Josh Nartovic's fifth spot. Now, as far as the fourth spot, I will give it to actually to Dexter Jackson. Yeah, Dexter is 50 years old right now. And I don't think he's showing any signs of aging, basically. And I think he's going to be fourth spot, which is pretty much the same, the same placement that he had at the Mr. Olympia. But I think Cedric McMillan is going to be third spot right here. So, uh, Cedric, I mean, I never really talked about him during these Arnold Classic updates. He didn't really post any physique updates. The thing with Cedric is, it's all about conditioning. Everybody knows that. If he brings insane conditioning, he can win the Mr. Olympia. Nobody really talked too much about him, so the pressure was kind of off. And hopefully that's going to be a factor. No pressure, less stress, less cortisol, and so on. And I actually expect him... I mean, this is a prediction video. I don't know what he looks like. I'm just predicting that he's going to come in, in, in a solid conditioning, not super conditioned. If he comes crispy, he can win the show. But I think he will be in decent conditioning. In the decent conditioning he was at the Arnold Classic Australia and still wasn't able to beat William Bonek. So, for, for that reason, I think William Bonek is just overall more muscular and, and always brings really good conditioning, but like really good conditioning. And the overall thickness of his entire body is just spot on. And that's why I give Bonek second spot, not the first spot. I cannot give him the victory because Big Rami looks to be extremely shredded. I think this is going to be the best shape of Rami's life. I don't think his face ever looked this sucked in. I think his face looks phenomenal right now. He looks really lean. And we saw what happened in 2017 when Rami was in shape. He almost beat Phil Heath, not literally, but he was second spot, and Bonek was able to beat him, even though that was a really good shape of Bonek. In 2018, yeah, Bonek was able to beat Rami, but that was 2018, Rami was off. This time around, we can all expect Big Rami to come in really good shape, and that's a 300-pound monster. William Bonek is like, what, 225, 230, something like that? Yeah, I think he's 230, so... Rami is gonna dwarf him, and yeah, conditioning is the most important thing, but having a lot of muscle is also a big factor, so he's definitely gonna be out-muscled, and with all that muscle, what Rami needs is to come in decent conditioning, and nobody can touch him. So that's my prediction, guys, I think Big Rami is winning this Iron Classic for the first time in his life, we'll see what happens, I know one thing... It's an amazing lineup, much better than Mr. Olympia 2019. So whatever you guys think, whoever you think is going to win, or what do you think, I mean, that's what I'm more curious about. What do you think about the Patrick and Sergio? Will they actually do better than I predicted? And also, what about the top two? I mean, will Big Grammy be conditioned enough, and will it be enough to beat very compact? William Bonek, who packs a lot of muscle on his frame, and looks very, very complete, and is going to be in great conditioning, we can be sure about that. 
It's all about big grammys conditioning. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it, then please subscribe for a lot of Arnold Classic updates and all kinds of bodybuilding videos. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.